and what's up everybody welcome back to another video here on the missouri farm i'm your host midwest ag on today's episode we finish up getting beans done getting them all out of the field get our combine all cleaned up and getting ready for some corn harvest we go into town and a farmer wants us to help him get his high moisture corn out all things seem to be going well at the time but it seems like no task can be easily completed on this farm will kevin end up losing his job find out by watching let's get after it Good morning guys. This morning we ended up pushing up the 14 acres of beans that we had left in the field. Right now it's like about mid-October. Corn's not yet dry enough right now, but the beans were sitting around like averaging between 14 and 15 percent. So we went ahead and got them all out of the way. Right now we're just gonna put everything away and we're looking pretty dirty. Beans are really dusty this year. We're gonna get this header all put away. I'm gonna take this combine over to the shop, get it all hosed off, cause I don't like my equipment looking too dirty. So we're gonna get it all cleaned up. All right, so we're going to we're gonna get the combine all backed in the shed for right now, and I'm gonna head into town real quick, cause I haven't had my morning coffee yet, cause I just wanted to get uh wanted to get these beans out of the way. So I'm gonna get this all backed in, and we're gonna head to town. Well, I. I don't know how many times I really need to tell Cynthia at the coffee shop what my coffee is. I go in there, I'll have the usual. Oh, what'll that be? Dark coffee, three sugars. Like, oh, no creamer? No, I don't, I'm not a big creamer fan. I, uh, I like my coffee like I like my women, you know? She's like, ha ha. I was like, what do you mean? Sweet, of course. And I guess, uh, I guess she didn't really get a kick out of that one. On a lighter note, uh, I was talking with a, another guy out there, and he wants us to... Or he asked if we were done with beans. I said, yeah, of course. He asked me, he was like, do you uh, do you think you can come help us with uh, doing some high moisture corn? I was like, well, uh, what exactly do you need? He said, oh, if you got your, your own combine, of course, and tractor and a truck, I mean, I'd pay you real well and I would help out tons. I think that we we're going to actually go do that. We're going to go help him out. I'm going to go see what field he wants us to help him on. He said it's just south of our place. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll actually be able to help this guy out. So I'm going to give him a call, and I'll get my equipment down here, get everything all set up. I'm going to see if I can get Kevin out here to help with uh, running the grain cart. I know that I told him he could have the day off because we just finished beans, but tell him something came up. All right, so Kevin just got the grain cart and the tractor here as well as the truck. we got that sitting here on the the edge of the road just so that way cars can go by we are going to get in here and we're going to open up this field get everything situated so we can get the truck in here still still no sign of the farmer yet so we're just going to get a little bit done and hopefully shows up here in a little bit already missing corn and i just started at two rows well we ended up getting the field opened up and i mean he still hasn't even shown up yet so I'm just going to park over here and I guess just wait for him to come by. We already we already got everything just ready to rock and roll, but he still hasn't come by yet. Asks for my help and doesn't even show up. Look who I see coming down the road. I I don't think he's going to be able to make it past the bridge with that header on, but I guess we'll see. What, he just took out a sign. We'll see what happens. All right, so this is going to be set up for the high moisture season right now. So we got the John Deere 96.7. And, of course, we have to have Farmer had a ace. Go figure. Makes sense. Probably why the rest of his equipment broke down. But we won't give him too much crap because, I mean, we're helping him out. So we're going to get the if he, uh, I don't even think he has GPS. Yeah, he doesn't have any GPS, so I'm just going to just gonna tell him to follow me. And right now, this is... I think my first time ever doing high moisture corn the you could tell like the speed difference like, I'm only going five mile an hour because I mean we're we're in like 22% 23% moisture like insane you can just look up here on the screen we're just not going that fast so I have no idea how long it's gonna take me this is only like a little 50 acre field so I about imagine it wouldn't take that long I think uh, yeah he's he's cruising up right behind me he's, keeping up I guess I, I don't think he's able to go as fast as me but we're gonna get these end rows whipped out and Kevin's gonna catch me on the cart here in a little bit I'll get back with you come on Kevin hurry up all right here we go so we got Kevin driving alongside us right now and he caught us just just in the nick of time too I think we were sitting about 89 percent 
almost 90% full. And did get to about where I said we were going to get. Hopefully Kevin can keep it out of the trees. He's getting pretty close. I don't think uh, I don't think Kevin's ever done high corn, high moisture corn either. So, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna lie, the stuff the stuff kind of weighs quite a bit. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Kevin a shout over the CB real quick. Kevin, you got a copy? Yeah, I go for Kevin. Hey, uh, Kevin, um, just want to let you know that don't just don't load these trailers too uh, too heavy. All right, we don't we don't want to risk busting the axle out right now. Hey, uh, by the way, I'm getting a little full right now. I think I just hit a. I think I hit 50% right now, 60%. So uh, you might want to come get me. Yeah, all right. I'll be up uh, heading that way. I'm just uh, grabbing Josh right now. All right, sounds good, man. See you in a bit. And just like that, we got the man, the myth, Evan himself rolling up right next to me. So I think uh, after I get done dumping on him, I think just about full. Not real sure. I got about 200 bushels left in the grain tank. I'm not seeing no corn coming up over up top on the eaves yet. So, hey, uh, Kevin, what are you uh, what are you at right now in the cart? Oh, I'm about at I think thirty-two thousand. All right, so so Kevin, I'm just gonna get up here on the end of this row, and you'll be good enough to go go empty out. All right. All right, sounds good. Make sure you're not putting over 48,000 pounds on that truck, Kevin. I don't want nothing bad to happen. Oh, uh, don't worry, boss man. I'll I'll make sure. For how slow we are actually going through this field, I'm not gonna lie. This stuff is actually going pretty well. I think we got about 10, 15, 10, 15 minutes left. I know I got like two more passes left to do on that other side, on the uh, north side of this uh, field. Hey, uh, hey, boss man. But there's an issue over here at the at the wagon or at the truck. What kind of issue are we talking about? Um, uh, you you just might want to come over here and take a look for yourself. Um, give me one second. Let me just finish up here, and I'll be heading over there. I wonder what can be such a needs for importance for me to get over there. I can't really see right now. I'm still too yet far away. But I guess we'll uh, see what happens when we get up there. Oh my, oh my goodness. What the heck? There's no way. Just snap two of the axles off. What the heck? Oh my, oh my goodness. Kevin must have overfilled it just like what I, what I said not to do. This thing is filled straight up over the eaves. Kevin, just... What the heck, man? This is the second incident that you had out here. I know, okay? Like, I get it, this kind of stuff happens, but I, I distinctly remember telling you not to do this. Like, this is something that you cannot be doing. You've already broken two pieces of equipment out here. Now this is going to cost a lot of money. We can't finish helping this guy. We're going to have to figure a way to get this unloaded. Just do me a favor and go home, and I don't want to see you today, and... If I want you, if I call you, then I'll have you come back. But for right now, just don't, don't come back for a while. All right. Yeah, no, just, just leave. All right. Leave. I, I'm, I'm too, I'm too frustrated right now. I can't have you here right now. Okay. So now we're going to try getting this, this auger undone, getting the straps off the top on the grain bin, getting the PTO shaft unhooked, getting this 4020 hooked up this auger. We're going to try taking it down there. And I really, I really hope this actually fits underneath there. Otherwise we're just kind of, kind of just screwed at this moment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get everything unhooked and hook it up to the tractor and start towing it over there. Okay, so we ended up we were able to get her slid underneath there just barely, like within centimeters. And we're 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 gonna need to hurry up because we're kind of like sitting out here. We've got the auger over the middle of the road. The truck's literally just sitting in the middle of the road. So I'm gonna hop in the grain cart and we're gonna start getting this thing unloaded. All right, everything's working smoothly. Thank goodness. I'm, I don't think Kevin's coming back after this. The last time was kind of acceptable. This time, I, I told him. I told him plenty of times. I told him so many times not to overload this truck. And what did he do? 
he overfilled it. Now, now look what happened. I still need to figure out where where we're gonna end up putting this truck, but I'm gonna run this auger back, get it out of the road, and then I'm gonna grab my pickup back at the farm, try to maybe load these duels up, see what I can do. This this is just a freaking mess. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get these loaded up. Yeah, gosh. Oh, my. there there we go. There we go. That tipped up. Now just rotate it around. Uh, oh, tipping over. All right. Now maybe if we just roll it here on the tongue, maybe we can get it up there. Oh my gosh. Oh, get up there. Uh, whew. Holy crap. All right, so one down, one to go. All right, there we go. Both duels are up. Let me just take a closer look at this. Yeah, both both hubs are just completely sheared off. There's there's nothing we can do. This is gonna need a whole new set of axles. And I just can't. I can't afford that right now. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do. This is this is pretty serious. Well, since it's I mean it's it's already broke. I need to get this all out of the road. So it's already broke. There's nothing much I can really do about it now. I'm gonna try to back it up and see if I can get it like put into the ditch. Oh, oh my gosh. It's just, this, this whole trailer just screwed up. Got it close there. This is, you know what? No regrets. No regrets. Ah, right, we're gonna leave it right here. All right, it's out of the way, it's out of the way. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to see if we can get a truck. Maybe borrow one. See if, see if somebody around here's got a truck that we can use. I do remember there being a guy at the uh, coffee shop at Island. I think his name was Phil. Yeah, that that, that sounds about right. I'm gonna. I think I I'm gonna give him a call. He did give me his number. He, he said if I ever need anything, he said just give him a call. So I think I'm gonna end up using that that phone a friend, and I'm gonna give Phil a call and ask him if he's if he's got a trailer that I can use right now. Cause we need to we need to get this done. Cause maybe what this guy's gonna pay us might just cover the cost of what these these new axles cost me. Hello? Hey, uh, Phil, this is, this is Knight over here. Hey, hey, um, remember that, remember that thing that you told me when we were at the coffee shop earlier? Yeah, what is it? What do you need? Well, um, I think, I think, um, if you have a trailer, I, I could really, really use that right now. Yeah, I got a spare trailer sitting around. Um, you got a truck for it at least? Yeah, yeah, I do have a truck for it, Phil. Um, if, if I could come pick that up. I would I I owe you man I owe you yeah just come on down it's it's sitting in the yard go ahead and just don't just don't ruin it oh don't worry Phil don't worry I last thing I really want to do right now all right so we're just rolling up into the field now and I'm going to unload the green card in here and we're gonna try getting it all transported this is a little bit of a bigger trailer this is a 52 foot Wilson trailer, which uh, is about an extra four foot longer than the Tempty that we were using. But once we get this uh, truck done, get the car unloaded, we'll go back to picking some high M corn. All right, so now this is gonna be our last pass. We had no issues. The other trailer did just fine. I wanna know what you guys think. Uh, drop down in the comments. I wanna know, do you think I should bring Kevin back? Because I don't, I don't think after this, after this little incident, I don't think he should come back. But I want to know what you all think, so put it down in the comments. Let me know, should Kevin stay or should Kevin go. Also, let me know if you guys really enjoyed the video. Drop a like down there. I really do appreciate it. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. But I'm going to go ahead and call the video here, guys. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.